man, the pandemic is really hitting people differently. Like when Kanye accepts $1.2 million to work in a shoe store, or when anyone goes from running for the president to working in a Foot Locker, you know the economy is boned. What's up guys, welcome to Cash Inc, otherwise known as Late Stage Capitalism Simulator. You buy a business, which can then earn you a whole bunch of money so that you can buy more businesses until eventually you own everything and everyone and all the money. But that being said, to start things off, I'm just some poor schlub. I have no money to my name, but I do have a personal assistant who seems to be a whole lot better off than I am. What's with the frown, boss? Oh, today's newspaper, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, it's all like rough and sandpaper, you know? It doesn't make for the most pleasant wiping experience after you take a dump in the park. <laughs> Becky, I've been meaning to ask, why do you work for a hobo? Like, is this your kink or something? I'm clearly not paying you. No worries, someday we can be like that. We as in you and I? You wanna shit under the bleachers with me? First, let's start a business. Of course, why didn't I think of that? You know, just start a business, stop being poor. Everyone knows they're just giving away comic stores for free. I can open my own comic store? Oh, that absolutely tickles my pickle, yes please. And it'll double as a place to sleep. Uh, oh no, 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 I'm good, I'll, I'll start with zero. I don't need your money, Becky, okay? This is gonna be a redemption story, I'm gonna prove myself, just you wait. <laughs> Tap to open your business, let's earn some cash. Will do. We may have made a huge mistake already. Like, we shouldn't have opened on the second floor. This isn't even a joke. I have so many comic books in this second story room that I'm in right now that I can't even stack up all of the boxes or, or like build a shelf to hold them all because I've paid a structural engineer to run the numbers and confirm that they would fall through the floor. It's literally thousands of pounds of comics. Buildings aren't built to hold that kind of weight. And I'm just one schlub pissing away his ad revenue. What do you think is gonna happen if I was a store? We're gonna crush all of the poor junkies in the crack den below us. Oh, this is interesting. There's room for expansion of our corporate empire. I mean, $65 for Buzzfeed seems a little excessive, wouldn't you say? It's a fixer upper. I'm sure we'll be able to make it work. Oh yes, yeah, 60 bucks, thank you very much. We can keep buying in more. Five more for a revenue boost? Yeah, I think we can make that work. Hey, are you proud of me, Becky? Wow, milestone reached. It can multiply our revenue substantially. That's what I'm talking about, okay. Buy more of the same businesses to unlock milestones. Am I buying more of the same business? or am I upgrading the one business that I have? I don't think the comic stores are multiplying in this tower, Becky. <laughs> I don't know what kind of crazy star-eyed drugs you're taking, but you really need to lay off of it, you freaking rich person. Fingers cramping? Let's look for partners to help us. Becky, are you trying to introduce more people to this relationship? Are you saying my fingers are cramping? <laughs> How dare you? I take offense to that. Oh, you mean employees. Yes, I could use people working in my businesses. Thank you, Becky. And I don't care how many glasses you wear. You're not going to hide the fact that you're on the booger sugar. <laughs> VIPs are great business partners. They'll help to collect money even when you're away. Okay. Let's partner with them in exchange for various benefits. So for $1,000, I can get Mr. Cameo, who will work in my comic book store. Oh, I see, Mr. Cameo must be a pseudonym. Like, I'm 95% sure that that's Stan Lee, except Stan, what's going on? You're not supposed to be in a wheelchair, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> I don't suppose I could keep investing in this comic shop and resurrect Stan's bottom half too. <laughs> like friggin' corporate necromancers, man, they always half-ass it. Stan, I promise I'll get back to you, okay? Right now, I need to continue my aggressive expansion upward. Oh, it's a sushi bar. For a second there, I, I thought it was like a VR arcade. It kind of looks like a, a headset. We should get a VR sushi bar. They can flip things into your mouth, except with the headset on, it looks like little people or 
ding-dongs and whatever you're into. <laughs> I like it, and I'm gonna upgrade it before we even open. I know that I want this to be the best it can possibly be. I don't know if upgrading actually changes the way things look. I'd be curious to see if anything in here actually improves. Right now we're at 22, so if I get to 25, should be able to get it done. Just kind of waiting for the money to come in. Come on, Stan, get to rolling around down there. <laughs> Sushi bar isn't gonna upgrade itself. I don't know if there was a difference. Maybe it was subtle, hard to tell. We're spending too much time opening businesses and upgrading them without hiring anybody. For $15,000, I can get to Edmoa. Or Edmoa? I don't get that reference. It just looks like some random frigging college student. Which is pretty much what you would expect for BuzzFeed. So yeah, sure, I guess that works. For $100,000, we can get the Hell Chef, which is Gordon Ramsay. Okay, I like that. Can you guys believe it? Half a million dollars and three businesses to my name. I'm gonna go from pooping under jungle gyms to pooping on supermodels in no time. I think I can even buy more employees. Like, if I upgrade Ed Moy, then I'm pretty sure we get another broke college student? No, we got some Einstein knockoff. Weird. Either way, if you can sit at a computer and type top 10 lists, then you're good. D. Vinci Studio. Close enough. <laughs> no, it's a bit of a knockoff factory, but at the same time, it allows me to be pretentious, and I know Becky is gonna love that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can change it so that I can buy the maximum amount. Let's upgrade this 28 times. Did I just drop $2.8 million into my knockoff factory? Please tell me this tower is in China. Crystals can buy what money can't. So boosters, for example. Uh, Becky, while I've got you, I've been meaning to ask, like, if poor people are your kink and I become rich, then are you gonna lose interest in me? Because that wouldn't be very cool. Ooh. Boosters will make us richer faster. Try one and see for yourself. <laughs> no, never mind. I think she's into both of us being rich and she just made it rain diamonds on me. I said that this was gonna be a redemption story and I don't need your freaking money. <laughs> she won't take no for an answer. Uh, Okay, well I can get a quick prestige or a one day time jump. I think I'm gonna save my crystals for later because things are kind of cruising right now. If anything, I can probably open another store. Shoe outlet. Nice, oh I need employees, that's the issue. We're not earning any money off this place. Let's see if we can find ourselves some children to make those paintings. <laughs> Half a million dollars? Eh, it's debatable, but uh, let's see what we end up getting here. Oh, hi Becky, you again. Actually, you know what, by the time I'm finished this thought, I'm gonna be worth $10 million. I don't need to listen to Becky anymore. I'm not gonna be accepting her help. I wanna be a self-made man. Now, where are my Chinese sweatshop workers? It looks like I got the Mona Lisa walking around in a frame instead. Yeah, I wanted people to make the ripoffs, not be the ripoffs. <laughs> All right, then I guess we should get somebody to work in our shoe store. And why wouldn't we get Kanye West? <laughs> Man, the pandemic is really hitting people differently. Like when Kanye accepts $1.2 million to work in a shoe store, or when anyone goes from running for the president to working in a Foot Locker, you know the economy is boned. Gordon is down here flipping his shit, or his egg, at the fact that this place isn't good enough for him. So I'm gonna put $3.4 million into hopefully making it look a little bit different. I still don't think it looks any different. Oh, I know what the problem is. He doesn't have anyone to abuse. He needs some idiot sandwiches to make fun of in front of a camera to keep him entertained. For a million dollars, we should be able to figure that out. Hopefully, that helps at all. Uh, can we get that guy a hairnet or something? Maybe? It still didn't change the bar. Quickly coming up on 25 million now. How much do you think Becky is worth? Like, uh, I know she started the game in front of like, a literal pile of money and diamonds, but I just hope she's proud of me. I, I bought some kind of music 
store or studio? I mean, everyone loves music, and we can hire Freddie Mercury. Yeah, why not? You know what? The corporate necromancers owe me a little bit after screwing up Stan Lee. All right, Cash Inc. You know what? You might be able to dig up Stan Lee and Freddie Mercury and then string up their corpses in your store, but I take offense to this because it's about me. I'm so close to a hundred million dollars, and there's a cow flying over Kanye. Wait, what? <laughs> okay! <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to say today. <laughs> so, now that I'm worth nine figures, who do you think would work with Kanye? Kinda hoping we can get his yeah. thick wife in here, do you think? Mmm, no, no, she's got a bit too much of a beard. And there's a UFO with the worm inside. Hello. I saved the world, that's worth $3 million, I suppose. <gasps> I'm incredibly confused. Is it just the higher up I go, the stranger things get? How about we open the pineapple store? Oh, I see. I'm just gonna be Steve Jorbs. <gasps> Boss, someone's here to talk business. Aren't you curious? Becky, what did I say about smoking that? You gotta give it up. Look at you, you're a mess. <laughs> and who wants to, to talk to me? I mean, okay. Who let this leprechaun into my office? Young one, fame is the secret to success. Get it by selling your whole tower to me. Sign this contract and I'll give you all my lucky charms. <laughs> or as we rich people know it, it's called prestige. For each fame point you own, your revenue will increase. Oh, I see how it works. I start over, I go back to pooping under the jungle gyms, and then you're gonna give me, what, a gold sticker? Of course you have to start from zero again, but you might get a new tower. It's a pretty good deal for us both. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Tricks are for kids, or whatever the Christ cereal joke I made. Bye! I've got more places to open, right? We can uh, get a jewelry store for 179 million. Or we could go back to upgrading. Is there anybody who doesn't have any employees? Yeah, we should get an employee for the Apple store. I don't suppose we're gonna resurrect Steve Jorbs. All right then, man oh man, those necromancers are making their money's worth today. <laughs> Becky, will you please stop? I told you, I don't want your help. I want to be a self-made man. You take all your prestige stars and shove them up your incredibly high butt. Oh no, this isn't good. Like 2.1 billion, I might be able to swing, but 25 billion is gonna take me like the rest of my natural life at this rate. <laughs> so maybe I should go talk to the leprechaun? Is that a mistake? Ooh, five times the money. What? You just, oh, watch an ad and you'll give me $76 million? I see how it is. <laughs> you knew that I was gonna come negotiating and you wanna butter me up, smart man. Remind me to open the eventual negotiations by asking him if he has any idea how much minion labor went into building this place. It's a fortune, like thousands of them have died. Plus, we can't get rid of the crackheads on the first floor, I, I don't know. What they're waiting for? Pigs to fly, maybe? Because that's a great big check. <laughs> you know, the wind around here is very profitable. Hello, strange circus man. Can I help you? <laughs> Look, the famous businessman is here. What an honor, sir. Me or you? Are you talking in third person or do, do you mean me? Of course I'm here. I own this tower. What do you want? Let's come to my place and have some fun. I don't really want to be touched by a circus worker right now, thank you. I'll pass. Oh, it's it's a it's a fancy wheel. Okay, well that's good. I'm happy they didn't dig up freaking Bob Barker. I'd feel real bad about that. <laughs> Spin to win. What do you got for me? Come on. One hour time skip for 1.7 billion. Um, hold on, I can, I can bank that? Oh, I just found my trump card. Oh, you can suck it, Lucky Charms. We're gonna be getting billions in no time if I open this place up. 
then I should be able to get an employee there. Uh, mm, Miss Fabulous. Yes, please. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, if I time skip, I should get even more, right? Uh, Becky, where do we keep the time skips? Is it up here? I think I pressed something I shouldn't have pressed. There we go, I found it. And now, if we skip an hour, we get six billion. I love that I can't wait an hour for a billion dollars to roll in. We'll go ahead and use that. And now, we should be in business. Why did inflation just crucify me? Oh, no, never mind. I, I got it set to, to, there we go. Now, one time. That's what I'm looking for. So, for two billion dollars, we can get Don's hideout. Oh, it's like a mafia boss hideout, I would imagine. Okay, well, let's shoot some aliens and see if we can hire ourselves a Don. Nope, that's gonna be $50 billion. That, that's not gonna happen. We're also not gonna get an astronaut, but if we're lucky, I might be able to get the Galactic Station and finish things off. Why is it every rich person around here is on the hard stuff? This is ridiculous. What exactly is your offer? You're giving me a 2%? 2%. Really? You could shove your 2% right up your diddly dee potatoes. <laughs> Get out of here. Not a chance. If anything, I I'd rather mess around with the creepy perv circus worker. But I watch an ad that I can spin the wheel and maybe get some more time bonuses. Come on. Give me something useful. Give me a day. Give me two hours. 28 billion? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's use that now. <laughs> Watch an ad get $28 billion. That's a decent deal. I can get myself a galactic space station now. Yeah, I don't want to run it, but it's pretty sweet. Watch a couple more ads and we'll be done in no time. You really think I'm going to wait an hour to spin your wheel again? You got another thing coming, but I do have one 24 hour time jump. And I think now is probably the time to use it. Unless I can upgrade anything right now. Nope, everything is in the many, many billions. Okay, well, 24 hours, here we go. I think I should use this to get the last two employees because I really want to see them. Upgrading doesn't seem to really matter all that much. So we can get Dawn Hello. Astronauts. <laughs> and there we go, we got cows flying and we got everyone working. That is a full business tower. Are you proud of me, Becky? But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Cash Inc, guys. And I really wanted to check out more games like this because I've played stuff like Adventure Communist and Adventure Capitalist and recently Money Tree. And people really enjoyed that. The video did really well. So hopefully you guys ended up enjoying this and want to see more stuff like this. You know, leave a comment with some recommendations, leave a like, show your support if you want to see more. And maybe I'll return to figure out why there's a mad scientist working out of a crack den's basement soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.